Diudana Section 6.2 The Jatila Ascetics Thus have I heard, at one time, the Lord was staying near Savati in the eastern park in Migara's mother's mansion. On that occasion, the Lord had emerged from seclusion in the evening and was sitting outside the gate. Then King Pasenadi of Kosala approached the Lord, prostrated himself and sat down to one side. At that moment, not far from the Lord, there passed by seven Jatila ascetics, seven Nigantas, Jains, seven naked ascetics, seven single garment ascetics, and seven wanderers, all with hairy bodies and long nails and carrying their requisites in a bundle on a shoulder pole. King Pasenadi of Kosala saw those groups of seven passing by, not far from the Lord. On seeing them, he arose from his seat, arranged his robe over one shoulder, knelt down with his right knee on the ground, and raising his folded hands towards those groups of seven, he announced his name three times thus, Revered sirs, I am King Pasenadi of Kosala. Then, soon after the departure of those groups of seven, King Pasenadi of Kosala approached the Lord again, prostrated himself, sat down to one side, and said to the Lord, Revered Sir, could any one of these be among those in the world who are Arahants, or who have entered the path to Arahantship? Great King, being a layman enjoying the pleasures of the senses, living at home with the encumbrance of children, making use of sandalwood perfume from Kasi, wearing garlands, scents, and unguents, and handling gold and silver, it is difficult for you to know whether or not these are arhats or whether they have entered the path to arhatship. It is by living with a person that his virtue is to be known, great king. And then, only after a long time, not after a short period, and only by considering it, not without consideration, and only by one who is wise, not by a fool. It is by associating with a person that his purity is to be known. It is in adversity that a person's fortitude is to be known. It is by discussion with a person that his wisdom is to be known, great king. And then, only after a long time, not after a short period, and only by considering it, not without consideration, and only by one who is wise, not by a fool. It is wonderful, revered sir. It is marvelous, revered sir. How well this has been said by the Lord. These, revered sir, are my men in disguise, informers who are returning after spying on the country. First information is gathered by them, and afterwards I will make them disclose it. Now, revered sir, when they have washed off the dust and mud, are well bathed and perfumed, and have trimmed their hair and beards and dressed themselves in white garments, they will go about given to and provided with the five kinds of sensual pleasure. Then, on realizing its significance, the Lord uttered on that occasion this inspired utterance. One should not strive everywhere. One should not be another's man. One should not live depending on another. One should not make a business of Dhamma.